Hi everyone, I'm Martina. Welcome to my YouTube channel. In today's video, I will be discussing some things that I wish I knew before becoming a doctor, before choosing to study medicine. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Give it a thumbs up, leave a comment, subscribe to my channel. So yeah, let's get into it. Career counseling is so important and I think it is really undervalued in this part of the world. I remember when I decided to be a doctor. Before then, I wanted to study banking and finance. After then, I wanted to study law and then I wanted to do computer science and then finally I decided to study medicine. And I chose medicine then because I thought, oh, I wanted a challenge. Oh, I am intelligent, so I think it's something that I can do. It also involves a lot of math. I, di I didn't like math, I didn't like calculations. So medicine felt like the perfect fit for me. But I was not properly counseled, there was no guidance. We had a guidance counselor in my high school, but <laughs> I think guidance counselors then were just, were just there for something totally different. But there was no proper counseling as to becoming a doctor or any career or field that you wanted to go into then. You just pick whatever you want and then write exams and try and get into it. Looking back now, there are many things that I wish I knew before deciding to study medicine. It may not have changed my decision to study medicine, but it will have been good to know so I can be properly guided and at least be prepared for these things when I face them. If you are someone or you know someone that wants to study medicine, please share this video with them. I know it will be really helpful or just give this video a thumbs up. That lets YouTube know that you enjoyed this video and it will put it out to more people and hopefully this video will help them. If you are in the medical field, please let me know which of these things you relate to. And also leave in the comment section any of this, any of the things that you think you would have loved to know before you went into medical school or before you decided to become a doctor. I'll be in the comment section waiting to see your responses. Some of these things might sound really strange, but when I was choosing to study medicine, I did not know doctors who work 247. And thinking about it now, I am just like, what was I thinking? I don't know. I just thought doctors came to work, did clinic, they worked a regular 8 to 4 like everybody else and they went home. I never thought about the patients in the ward or what happens to emergency cases that come in the middle of the night. I just thought doctors would come back in the morning and see those cases. But at that age, I really did not know that as a doctor you have to work 247. Doctors work during the holidays, Christmas, New Year, on your birthday, Easter, whatever break it is, doctors have to be in the hospital. And that's why doctors have to work shifts, some in, some out. And that's why I think it's so important that, you know, secondary schools offer opportunities for people that want to be doctors to come to the hospital and actually shadow doctors. I know they do it in the US and it would be really good if they can also do it here in Nigeria. Whereby medical students can come follow a doctor around, so, not medical students, like high school students can come follow a doctor around for a day or a week, like see us do shifts, do rounds, clinic and actually see everything that entails being a doctor so they can be properly guided. And that's one of the reasons why I like to make vlogs. I make videos about a day in my life as a doctor or a week in my life or I take you guys on my night shift. So if you're so if there's anyone that wants to study medicine, they can actually see um, the life of a doctor or the life of a medical student if they are not opportune to go to a hospital and actually shadow a doctor. When I did my house job, I had to work for one week straight. I had some colleagues that worked for one month straight. And when I say straight, like there's no break. You are working 247 the entire month or week. You can be called anytime. And I really, I really did not know that this was possible. Yes, this is very improper. What happens here in Nigeria, but I wish I knew that doctors work two for seven. Because as an adult now, I am someone that loves my sleep. I don't like to be disturbed at night. Yet I have to work night shifts, and my sleep is always interrupted. So I mean, if I knew this before I became a doctor, who knows? Maybe I would have, I would have reconsidered. Maybe. The next thing is that study never ends. I don't know why I thought that once you become a doctor, that is all. But that is not. You have exams and exams and exams. 
So when you finish medical school, you write medical licensing exams, you have to study for it. To do residency, you write exams, you have to study for it. If you want to work abroad, you're either studying for USMLE or for PLAB or licensing exam for any country. Even during residency, you still have to study for exams. And even when you're not studying for exams, you have to stay updated with cases, with updates, with, you know, medical research, with things that are going on in the medical world. So you're constantly studying. As <laughs> before I chose to study medicine, I just thought that once you know medical school, you magically know everything and then you just work for the rest of your life without having to constantly read. But that's not the case. We are constantly reading. So this also affects your social life because you're almost always studying for one exam or the other or preparing to prepare for word rounds, pray for morning meetings, always have to study. And your life, your social life, your personal life is really interrupted because there's always one reason or the other to be studying. But you have to pick studying above the social aspects of your life because that's your career and you want to improve it. That's the reality. The next thing is that you have to become a people person. Even if you are not, you have to. Being a doctor deals with a lot of interaction with people. And when I was younger, I was very introverted. I didn't like interacting with people. Becoming a doctor, now realize that you meet different kinds of people. People with different characters, different intentions, aggressive people, kind people, horrible people, amazing people, whatever, and you have to treat them. On this channel, I have shared, you know, I spoke about when I was insulted by a patient where, or a case where a patient almost beat me up or some chaos happening in the hospital and having to interact with different types of people. I didn't think about this before I went to medical school, but being a doctor, I just realized that there is a whole lot of patient interaction. And as a doctor, you have to be good with communication. You have to be able to deliver bad news. You have to have empathy. You have to be patient. You have to enjoy a lot of things for the sake of the greater good, for the sake of treating the patient. You have to take in a lot of things. I did not know this before medical school, but that is the reality that we face as doctors. Another thing that I did not know before I became a doctor is that doctors Doctors, healthcare professionals are at risk of a lot of diseases. Being in a hospital, if there's any outbreak, patients are coming into the hospital, the health workers are at risk of exposure, at risk of getting infected, at risk of taking it back home to their families simply because you are a doctor. And that does not mean you would not come to work. You still have to come to work. You still have to intentionally put yourself at risk to be able to help sick patients, to be able to treat the people in the hospital. Doctors are exposed to different body fluids, blood of patients with different diseases. But we just have to protect ourselves and still have to care and treat the patient. So you are at risk of a number of diseases simply because you are a healthcare worker, simply because you are a doctor. And this is something that I did not think about prior to becoming a doctor. But it's very important for people to know this before choosing to become a doctor. The last thing I want to talk about is that doctors are not rich. There is this stereotype that doctors are rich, that once you choose to become a doctor, you're automatically going to be rich. Your life is sorted out, money is not going to be a problem. Maybe this was the case 20 years ago, but it is no longer the case now. Now, there are so many factors that influence that. Your country, the hospital you work in, are you private, government, if you're in residency or not, um, what level of residency you're in and so many other factors that can affect how wealthy you are So we cannot just say once you're a doctor everything is settled everything is sorted in this part of the world That is not true. Although doctors are considered to be paid more than a number of professions here in this part of the world But it is still not enough doctors are not rich that is one stereotype that you need to get out of your head. So if you want to become a doctor simply for the money, simply because you think, oh, you're going to be rich automatically, then that is completely 
wrong well these are some of the things that i think you should know before choosing medicine before becoming a doctor if you're already in medical school just prepare your mind to experience some of these things and if you are not yet in medical school yet these are some things that we doctors experience so you can put it into consideration and you can make your decision with appropriate information if you're a doctor please let me know what you think about any of these things i have spoken about and leave some more in the comment section so we can help other people that want to go into the medical field so that they can be um, properly educated so that's all for this video thank you so much for watching don't forget to give me a thumbs up subscribe to my youtube channel and i'll see you guys in my next video Bye bye